Today I'll be teaching from the book of Revelations, chapter 6 and verse 2. John sees the first horse as a white horse. Now the horses are spirits. In the book of Zechariah, chapter 6 and verse 5, and Isaiah 31 and verse 3. In Revelation 6 and 2, John sees the white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. He has no arrow, so he's coming in peacefully. Daniel chapter 9 and verse 27. He is given a crown in Revelations 13 and verse 2. The lion, because the dragon gives him his power, his seat, and his great authority. And the reason why he is on a white horse, church, because remember Jesus said in Matthew 24 and 24, if it was possible, he'd fool the very elect. And that is what he's coming to do, to deceive the world. Revelations 19 and 10, now this is Jesus, but you'll see the similarities of this thing that's coming. We see that our Lord and Savior Jesus is on a white horse, and he is called faithful and true, and in righteousness he does judge and make war. Do you see what the beast is trying to do, church? I tell you, you see him trying to do the same thing, the, showing himself in the white horse. Revelations 19 and 8 says, The white is the righteousness of the saints. We see in the book of 2 Corinthians 11 and 16 that the ministers of Satan can transform themselves into ministers of righteousness. And that's what the beast is trying to do. And we see that the conquering, because Matthew 24 and 7, uh, Jesus said, Nations shall rise up against nations and kingdoms against kingdoms. And we see in the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 9 that the dragon gives this thing that's come in his power and his seat and great authority and but he's going to come and conquer but first he's got to get in peacefully he's got to come at a time of chaos and bring order in the book of Revelation chapter 6 and verse 4 we see the red horse and power was given unto him that sat thereof to take peace from the earth and there was given unto him a great sword remember what I just told you Jesus said if it was possible, he'd fool the very elect because this thing is trying to line up with this word of God. Because in the book of uh, Revelation 13, verse 2 and 3, we see that after the lion is slain, uh, that he comes up as a lamb in Revelation 13 and 11 and verse 12. We see that he exercises all power of the first beast. We see also that in the book of Revelations 13 and 14 that it is the people on the earth that create this image of this slain lion. And when they bring him back, he is now a lamb in Revelations 13 and 11. And he is lifted up from the earth. Remember, Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. And that is what the beast is trying to do. Uh, we see that uh, all power was given to the first beast. In the book of Matthew, chapter 10, and verse 34, Jesus said, Think not that I am come to send peace on the earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. See? that You think that devil ain't going to use those scriptures? Boy, I tell you what, he'll be quoting those scriptures so, so fast, it'll give us wind burn. He's going to be quoting that word, because he's got to establish his lie. He's got to establish this beast that's coming is what we've all been reading. We see the sword, Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 17, the sword of the Spirit. Revelations 13 and 10, he that killeth with the sword must with the sword be killed. So we know that's going to happen to him too, because we know that when Jesus is coming, Jesus has the sword coming out of his mouth in Revelations 19. So we see that the beast is going to be using a sword also, uh, and with his words, he's going to be killing in the book of Daniel, chapter 7 and verse 8, Revelations chapter 13 and verse 5, a mouth was given unto him. Revelations 13 and 7, he made war with the saints. You know why he made war with the saints? Because he's going to use this scripture. Uh, he's going to tell the people, does it not say in the book of Luke 19 and 27, my enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring them hither and slay them before me? Because Jesus is going to do exactly the same thing. Remember, Jesus said if it was possible, he'd fool the very elect. Revelations 13 and 15. Now, church, we know the devil can quote scriptures. Because in Matthew chapter 4 and verse 6, 
when Jesus was being tempted of the devil, the devil quoted the word of God. He was telling Jesus it was written. And we see in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 7, I mean, I'm sorry, 14, Satan can be transformed into an angel of light. And that's what they're going to do. They're coming with all lying signs, lying wonders, and lying deception. We see in the book of Revelation chapter 6 and verse 5, the black horse and him that sat upon him had a pair of balances in his hand. That's right, because they're going to be rationing out your food. We see in the book of Hosea chapter 12 and 7, in Amos chapter 8 and verse 5, it is a balance of deceit. And the penny in Revelation 6 and 6, that's your wages. You're going to be getting paid less. And whenever you do get paid, just buying the food is going to take all your day wages. Because Matthew chapter 20 and verse uh, 12, it's either 12 or 2, church. I don't have my glasses on, so I cannot see good. I believe it is uh, 20 and 2. As if it's not, I'll write that scripture down for you. And I can't go get my Bible because Tinkerbell's sitting all over me, so I can't move in this chair. And uh, we see in the book of Revelations chapter 6 and 6, it's going to take all their day's wages. Do you hear me, church? Just to buy food. Matthew tells us that a penny was what they got paid for a whole day. Revelation 6 and 6. To buy food, it's going to cost a penny. That's your whole day wages. Church, you can see now that when you go to the store, you're paying more and you're getting less. And it's going to get worse. And we see the oil and the wine. That's them being in control of your medicine. In the book of Luke, chapter 10 and verse 34, we see the oil and the wine is medicine. And we're seeing that they will have control over the money, over your wages, over the food prices, and over the medicine. That is government control, church. We see in the book of Revelation, chapter 6 and verse 8, Behold a pale horse, his name was death and hell followed with him. Did you see that church? John gave you a, a little mystery right here. He gave you a little revelation. He said hell followed him. It was given unto him, power was given to him over the for, fourth part of the earth to kill with the sword, with hunger, with death, and with the beast of the earth. Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 14 says that he that has power of death is the devil. Remember I just showed you that hell followed him? Because in the book of Revelation chapter 20 and verse 13 says, Death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. That's right. Why? Because in Revelation chapter 9 and 1, uh, that was given the key of hell. Revelation chapter 1 and 18 Jesus has the key of hell and death. So they're given this fallen stars given the key to hell and death. That's how come death and hell was de de delivered up the dead. That's how they were able to raise the dead. Je Jesus gave them the key to hell and death. Revelations 9 and 1, there's the fallen star with the key. He opens up the bottomless pits of hell. We see in Revelations 9, 7 through 11 that the king... It is in the bottomless pit. He's coming out of the pit with his army. So we see that that's what John is seeing. He is seeing death in the grave. He's seeing the graves being opened. He's seeing hell being opened. He's seeing those that have been in hell, those that has been in the grave are coming up. Because Revelation 20 and 13 says, Death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. We see Revelation 6 and 8. That's what the pale horse, his name was death, and hell followed with him. So we're seeing that's what they're doing. Power was given to him to kill with the sword, with hunger, with death, and with the beast of the earth. Read the book of Ezekiel chapter 14 and verse 21. The beast of the earth. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 2. We see the lion 
the leopard, the bear, and the dragon, the beast of the earth. We see in the book of Revelations 13 and 11, the lamb that has two horns. Remember, our lamb has seven horns, church, because our lamb is the finished work of God. This lamb is a deceiver. Ezekiel. Oh, and also read the book of uh, Jude, verse uh, 10 on the beast. Ezekiel, chapter 14 and verse 21. What I just showed you in Revelation 6 and 8 is the four judgments. That's what John is seeing in Revelation chapter 6. I hope you like that revelation knowledge from the Holy Spirit of God. And God bless each and every one of you today. And thank you so much for standing together with me in this amazing gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you, church. I love you, my dear precious friends.